to your health, where we talk to local health leaders to help you feel better, live better, and be better. Hey everybody, and welcome to To Your Health. Today's topic, melanoma. To help us through that is Dr. Annie Zeig from Surgical Associates of Nina. Welcome, doctor. Thank you, thanks for having me. So I wanna get into this. We were talking earlier, there is some startling news about melanoma, but some good news. Right, so I think the bad news about melanoma is the fifth most common cancer diagnosed in the United States, and the rates of it are rising about 1% per year. The good news is the rates of dying from melanoma are falling. So that means we're catching it early and we have some really effective treatments for it. And that is good news because as we see it rise, we get a little scared. Right. And I wanna think about risk factors, people who should really be aware. And we think about red hair, uh, pale skin, but it gets more than that, isn't it? Right, and people of all skin tones are at risk for melanoma, but certainly people who have had a lot of sun exposure, frequent burns, especially in childhood, and people who have a family history of skin cancers or are immunosuppressed are also at risk. What about those who have moles, lesions, things like that? What should we be looking for? Yeah, so when I see a patient look with concern for melanoma, I'm thinking about the A, B, C, D, and E's. So A being asymmetry to moles. If it's all the same kind of shape all the way around, very reassuring. Um, borders, if the borders are irregular, so not a smooth border, that makes me a little more concerned. Color, a single color like black or brown, very reassuring. If there are multiple colors or if the color is changing, I start to worry. Diameter, so about six millimeters. If it gets larger than that, I start to worry. And six millimeters is about the size of a pencil eraser. And then evolution. Uh, so if a mole is changing over time, that's a mole that I'm more worried about than one that's been the same all your life. And I would think that people who have them on their back or hard to, it's hard to see places really have to get in and have a professional look at that. Absolutely. I mean, your mirror is your best friend. And I say, it's just like when you come back from a weekend up north, like you're checking yourself for ticks. You need to look in all the nooks and crannies to make sure you're not missing something. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's just quickly think, I have a problem. What does that look like? We go, we get it checked out. How does that process work? Yeah, the most important thing uh, for a surgeon to know is what the mole looks like under the microscope. So we take a biopsy of it and that will help put you on the right treatment path. Wonderful. Now I want to get into prevention quickly. What are the basics? Yeah, sunscreen is so important and staying out of the sun or using protective clothing when you're out between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. is the best thing that you can do to help prevent these. Well, Dr. Annie Zeig, I thank you so much for joining us and we wanna thank you for watching To Your Health. The preceding was a paid advertisement.